Okay, we're just about to run Lost Planet performance test with DirectX 10. Uh, we're going to be doing a comparison between the 8800 GTX and the 8800 Ultra, the XFX XXX version of the Ultra, um, using the same drivers and same system. So we'll just start the test now. I'm going to have them side by side. Already starting off at a much higher frames per second as compared to the GTX. Running a quad core 6700. I've just set the FSB to 1333, and that's all I've done. So it's running at 3.33 gigahertz with 2 gig of RAM. And the resolution is 2560 by 1600 because we really want to test these cards. No point of getting you know 150 frames at, at a standard resolution. So far, showing a much higher average than the GTX. Um, basically, we're showing nearly double the frames per second. This is running with Windows Vista DirectX 10. I've already ran a, uh, ran a DirectX 9 test. And with the same cards I found that DirectX 9 in particular with this game runs, runs better than DirectX 10. But in the future we're hoping that DirectX 10 does uh, help games run better. Still on 30 frames per second average which is very good. I think at this stage we're on 16 with the uh, with the GTX. Funny thing is with uh, my XFX Ultras, they came they're meant to come shipped at 675 at 2300. Mine came at 685 at 2300. When I set defaults in the Nvidia settings, it just says 685 2300. So I'm pretty happy. And I find uh, these cars really overclock well. I can easily get 720 at 2500, which is pretty good. And temperatures showing about about eight degrees less than the than the um, the GTXs. I think I was in the like the low 60s with the GTXs. I'm in the low 50s now, degrees Celsius with the Ultra. I'm not sure if it's room temperature or the new revision or whatever, but that's I'm just stating it as it is. Still 30 frames a second, which is very good, very playable. Not everyone has to run this resolution, but we really, you know, we really want to push these cars to see what they can do. Nearly hitting 40 frames a second there. I'm very interested to see what this will run with the XP, with XP DirectX 9. What I might do later is install XP on a separate partition and just run uh, 3D06 and maybe run this same benchmark and Call of Juarez just to see. My old overclock score with 3D06 was 18,800 so I'm hoping to get 20,000 plus with these. That's the test.